First stop in downtown Fort Myers is Mason's Lobster Rolls. Delicious Maine lobster, and today I am so lucky to have my beautiful wife Catherine accompanying me. We're gonna eat these lobster rolls, drink these Michelob Ultras, and check out downtown Fort Myers. You're welcome to join us. One thing great about downtown Fort Myers, it's as beautiful and everywhere you walk, every street you go on, it's an adventure. And of course, no adventure is complete without Starbucks coffee. <laughs> so we're gonna stop in here, refuel with a little coffee, and then we're gonna get back to the adventure. This is the Sydney Bernie Davis Florida Arts Center, and you'll see these big copper columns, and they were a gift from Florida Power to the city of Fort Myers. They've got all these words cut out, and at night they put a light inside, and they project those letters all over the buildings. I'm told that one is a story about the Native Indians, and the second one has to do with Edison and Ford. This is just a wonderful building to check out. It's an art center. They've got all sorts of great things inside, and they have a rooftop bar where they give yoga lessons, salsa lessons, meditations, all sorts of great things. Definitely a place you want to check out down here in downtown Fort Myers. And at night, it's especially beautiful. Here's a little plaque that tells you all about our wonderful downtown area. So you'll notice there's cobblestone streets everywhere. I mean, it's just so great. Really trying to preserve the history of this place. And of course, if you just travel west on any street, you'll end up on the river. We'll look at that later. But for now, let's go over here and check out a few of the shops. Lots of little boutique shops, restaurants, great little places to explore. Right across the street there is another one of my favorite places. It's called Izzy's Oyster Bar, and that's a real fun place to go with friends. Next door to it, we have the Lodge, which is a more of a sports type of bar, but they've got it designed like a traditional hunting lodge. Quartz and Clover, my favorite occult bookstore. Lots of great little gifts and knickknacks. Big selection of books, tarot cards, candles. Just the smell alone of that place is worth the visit. Definitely check it out. And of course, there's clothing stores, as you can see. Another shot of that lodge bar. Lots of fun there. One great thing is we have a theater group down here. And um, that theater group puts on all sorts of performances daily. Definitely want to check that out. The theater is in here. You'll always know where the theater is because on the front, they've got the Belgian crepe waffle shop. <laughs> Sometimes I just go there. I never make it to the theater. But the theater's down that road there, down that hallway. We're going to check that out in a minute. We'll go back and look at that. There's the ACT Gallery. ACT does a lot of things for the community and put off a lot of art events. Definitely want to go in there and support them. You'll notice throughout downtown Fort Myers, there's a lot of these sculptures. And um, that's a, a, a ongoing process, but as you walk around, you'll notice these beautiful sculptures. You'll be able to stop and take pictures of the sculptures and read a little bit about them as you take a little rest. Now, let's just power through some of these streets, looking at all the people gobbling up their food. <laughs> There's no lack of great food and great times here in downtown Fort Myers. You can't go wrong with any of these places. Here's one of my favorite Mexican restaurants right here. Great Cantina. We'll go back and have a look at the Market Earth in a minute. That's a great, great little place to get just about anything you can think of. Timeless is a really great little place that has a lot of unique gifts. Across the street there, we got Capone's Pizza Place. Want to get a haircut? There's an old time 
barber shop in there that'll do the job for you, Blake's. Again, some of these really unique gifts from Timeless. Steampunk. You wanna know what steampunk is? This is steampunk. <laughs> Go on inside, meet the owner, he's very friendly. Support the local community. Oh yeah, enough said there. Capone's is a great restaurant. So like I was saying, every little walkway, every little alley has little gems that, that are just waiting to be discovered. Let's just walk down here and have a look. Little cafes and bars. Of course, at night, this has a vibrant nightlife scene, vibrant bar and, and dance scene. But right now we're in the, we're on a Saturday afternoon, so everyone is just casual. There's 1025, a great place to go for a drink. Usually this area here will be filled at night with people, just out enjoying the beautiful weather. I cannot tell a lie, I'm coming up on one of my favorite places, and I mentioned it in, in another one of my blogs, House of Pizza. And you guessed it, it's a pizza place. If we're lucky, they'll be throwing the dough. Let's see where we are today. Let's see how lucky we are with downtown House of Pizza. Where's my guy? Oh, there he is. All right, here we go. We're going to get a little performance here. Look at that. I mean, that is... That's it. Best pizza in Fort Myers right there. Delicious. I'll be going back there and grabbing a slice before I leave. And again, lots of interesting little places to eat and shops all along the way. You really can't miss. Of course, we've got the world famous cigar bar coming up. There's always a couple of guys sitting out front smoking cigars and solving the world's problems. <laughs> That's a great place to go for a whiskey and a cigar. They got a big assortment there. If that's your thing, you're gonna love that place right there. You're just gonna love it. So you can get just about anything you want down here in downtown Fort Myers. And you can spend hours and hours just looking at all the unique little things, like this shop right here. Where else are you gonna get paintings of dogs and cats dressed up as people? I mean, that is definitely on my list. Perhaps you want a Buddha painting? We got one of those. Okay, we've got everything in downtown Fort Myers. And it's an ongoing restoration project. So just look at this beautiful mural that was commissioned to be painted on the side of this building. And you can watch the artist as he's doing it. It's a work in progress. And there's lots of this down here. So it makes this area so alive and so wonderful. Let's see. Let's, oh, well. It's hard to go by the ice cream shop, but I'm going to go by it for now. We've got Spirit of the Earth, another great crystal fossil shop. Wonderful place to pick up gifts that are unique, stuff you're not going to find anywhere else. So we're going to circle back and check out the theater. We go right in here. And remember where I said it was? It was located right by the crepery. That's how you know you're going in. You can just let your nose lead the way. Again, a great look at the historic renovations and the historic restorations that have been done in downtown Fort Myers. Everything is clean. And we've got this great little theater in here that puts on afternoon shows and early evening shows that are very popular. And of course, there's local merchants all along the side for you to check out. Right now there's a performance that just started and these guys put off a lot of classics, classic theater, but also some avant-garde, racy art pieces occasionally. <laughs> there's a couple of people just going in late for the one that just started. So as we move out here, we head west. And like I said, this opens us up to the Caloosahatchee River. Let's go down Riverside and take a look. You can just walk right down to the marina. So 
One of the things we're really proud of here in downtown Fort Myers is the addition of the Luminary Hotel. And that's what we're looking at here on the left. This is a beautiful, beautiful hotel that also is an important part of our community. They have a great breakfast bar over there, or I should say breakfast restaurant, a uh, great place to go and have breakfast, but they close at around one o'clock. So it's really a breakfast place. Also upstairs at the Luminary, they have a wonderful rooftop bar where you can go and sit down, have a cocktail, and really take in all the sights of downtown Fort Myers. And again, this is called the Luminary. Just a great place. I could do a whole video on just the Luminary. Now at the end, by the pier, we have the Oxbow Restaurant. They've got an upstairs there, and they have a great little store in the front of their restaurant. You need to pick up a few things. It really serves as the marina, but you're welcome to go in there and take a look. Here's a great look at that Caloosahatchee Marina in downtown Fort Myers. You can see the riverboat over there. And of course, that is available. You can get on that and you can go out on that. And they have a whole package for tourism that they provide. I like looking at the boats, but it makes my wife nervous. Hey, these are some cool cats that decided to dock up and enjoy the Floridian lifestyle. Why not? This is Southwest Florida. Let's have one last look at downtown Fort Myers. Come down, spend an afternoon, spend a whole day, wander around, have a drink, have something to eat, just explore. There's lots to see. It's a wonderful place to spend your day. You can learn more about me at meetingsteve.com and you can call or text me at 239-645-2405 and I will mail you a boater's map that shows you the whole area, all the waterways, bridge heights, all the cool places that you can live here in Southwest Florida.